going on everybody? It's your boy Visionary Kicks back in here with another video. Hopefully when this video is up we have 8,000 subscribers. Last July I only had 1,000. We're coming up on July again. Well, another year of July and we're already at 8,000. So in one year I made 1,000 and then the next year I made 7,000. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button. I am going to be dropping a lot of customs throughout this month because July 13th and 14th I'll be at SneakerCon San Jose so all these shoes I'll be doing from here on out are gonna be for SneakerCon so if you guys are there or want to show up make sure to pull up come say hi before we even get into the video I am dropping these shirts specifically for San Jose just a black a white tee with the black logo and then on the back it's a shark eating the Air Max and then the visionary kicks right there if you guys would like to purchase this Go check out my Etsy link down below in the description box, they'll be there. In this video I got this custom Air Force One, cause inspired. Basically in this video I'll be talking you guys step by step on what I did and what I used. And if you guys want to see how I actually did these, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so for the first step here you're going to want to use some acetone. All you get is the leather prepper and the glazer from Angelus. Then cotton ball and just start scrubbing. Make sure so you get the size that you're gonna paint. Now that that's done, acetone's ready, then then the extra residue of the cotton balls is out, you're gonna wanna tape it. Um, I like to use this red vinyl tape I got from Angelus Direct. Super good because, let me show you. So I just cut a piece and it's like, you just put it down somewhere. And you can stretch this like crazy, like around the corner, look at that. I used to use just this, like the whole thing, but as I peeled it off or heated up or something, it would like leave a bunch of like residue on the sole. And it was just kind of hard and annoying to take off. So I think this tape right here is the best way to go. Now that the sole is complete, I also don't want to get paint on this part right here where we put the shoelaces. So I'm going to use this tape a little bit easier. And I'm going to. Use my nail to carve it in. Ow, fuck. Boom. Now, last part. You wanna place this right in the middle of your shoe. And then to get this straight here too, just kind of pull it enough where it's just gonna sit down somewhere. Next step, once I have everything taped up, you're gonna be adding flat white paint. Shake it up. I like to do it like this. I don't know if it's, sometimes it messes up the cap, but it's cool. And then you're gonna wanna get very little, and then light coats go over the whole, this whole uh, white side, black side right here, you're just gonna go over it. On this part here, I'm gonna be adding the stencils to paint all of this fun stuff. So I use my, my cutter over there and I printed out this here and now I'm just taking piece by piece and going in here and filling it in it's uh well once you have the stencils it's basically just put them on there and then paint them on I'm trying to get it as close to possible as the other one that I already did not because it, it really matters but just because it is like the pair like I want it to look similar. So on this side it's going to be black with the thing and then on this side it's going to be the other side. So when you walk it's going to be like this and then the colorful on this side. All the stents is completely on there. Um, basically now what I'm going to do is just tape off like the pieces I'm not going to paint with the same color and then just paint from there. So I'm going to start off with the neon pink right here and then I'm going to be painting the top here and this back piece here. So what I'm going to do to cover off all the pieces I don't want to be painted, I'm just going to get some tape and then I'm going to tape it off. I did the pink section there and I took out the tape so now after I did that I sprayed some uh, so I'm gonna finish on there just so now when I put the other tape, I gotta tape off the pink. And then when I peel off that tape, it's not gonna peel because you put the matte finisher on there. Now I'm gonna cover up the pink section. 
so that no pain will go on to that side. Now on this part right here, I'm just gonna start filling in the, all the white. It's gonna be basically just black. Alright, so now to finish up the process right here. We got all the black done there. Now all we need is do the little eye right here. The white here, I'm gonna put that away to the side. Boom. I'm going with my neon yellow. done it's yellow um, I have the cutout right here the little eyeball bone and I'm just gonna try to get it as close to this one like I did already I'm right, gonna get some black paint right over it kind of just kept on painting it and covered it completely so now what I'm gonna do is take this off The last step right here to complete this custom here, all we're gonna do is lace them up. I might, might, might change the laces to something else later, but for now, to end this video here, I'm just gonna do the original black laces. Alright, so there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully by now we've made it to 8,000, but if we haven't, hit the subscribe button so we can get to 8,000. And if we are at 8,000 already, shout out to everyone who has subscribed. And if you guys are new, subscribe to that channel. Be on the lookout for the next videos. I am going to be posting a, quite a few videos right now because I am going to Secret Crunch San Jose, July 13th and 14th. Like I said already, like I said after every video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Be on the lookout for the next one. I'll see you then. Peace.